what is nanomaterials? Nanomaterials can be defined as materials that have at least one dimension in nanometer scale, 1 to 100 nanometer. Nanomaterials can be seen with the use of nanotechnology because they are tiny materials but with higher potential. Nanomaterials can classify with different forms such as particles, tubes, shells, quantum dots, powders, coatings, and etc. Two types of nanomaterials. The non-intentionally made nanomaterials and intentionally made nanomaterials. The first one is non-intentionally made nanomaterials. These are the materials that made by nature such as viruses, bacteria, nanoparticles made from volcanic eruptions, fire or other types of combustion, and other living organisms such as protein and molecules. The second is intentionally made nanomaterials. These are the materials that made by people or manufactured nanomaterials that commonly done by scientists. There are four types of intentionally made nanomaterials. The first one is carbon-based materials. Carbon-based materials are intentionally produced polyrenes. These include carbon nanotubes and buckyballs. The second one is metal-based materials. It includes quantum dots, nanogolds, nanosilver, and metal oxides, such as titanium dioxide. The third one is dendrimers. It is made in chemical components which commonly used for drug delivery. And lastly, Composites nanomaterials. It is used in scientific and technological importance including the nanoparticles, nanorods, nanofibers, and carbon nanotubes. Nanomaterials are used across almost all industrial sectors and product categories, whether cosmetics, food sectors, industrial chemicals or medicines, and agriculture. Because of their widespread use, Consumers, workers, and the environment may also be exposed to them in many different ways. Nanomaterials has the huge potential to transform people's lives for the better. Many people are suspicious about the potential effects of nanomaterials on our health, planet, and ecosystems. systems. We have to stay informed about this new technology. People should share what they know with others. The more people know about nanotechnology, the more likely that manufacturers will take into consideration health and safety standards. What is cosmetics? These are constituent mixture of chemical compounds derived from either natural sources or synthetically created ones. Cosmetics have various purposes. Those designed for personal enhancement in care for our body skin. Beyond physical health, cosmetics can help to improve your confidence and mood, helps to enhance our appearance and boost our self-esteem. They can also help to exhibit personal styles such as an important means of social expression. There's a many example of cosmetics such as eye and face makeup, skin moisturizer, skin care creams, nail polishes, baby products, deodorants, hair colorants, and etc. Insoluble nanoparticles in cosmetics products are essentially used as UV filters or preservatives. The key ingredients present in most cosmetics include water, emulsifiers, preservatives, thickeners, moisturizers, colors, and fragrance. For example, Mineral nanoparticles such as titanium oxide are used in sunscreen. Due to the full stability that conventional chemical UV protection offers in the long term. Just as the bulk material would, titanium oxide nanoparticles are able to provide UV protection, while also having the added advantage of removing the cosmetically unappealing whitening associated with sunscreen in their nanoform. During the medieval period, lipstick was used to distinguish a social classes in Europe, and based on their beliefs, wearing a bright pink lip color signi signified a high class, while red tones meant you were of an uh, interior social distancing. The 
effectiveness of nanomaterials in cosmetic products. Since hundreds of years, nanomaterials has been used in the development of cosmetics. Cosmetics is an intentionally made nanomaterial since it is made by science and technology. Women have polished their nails with gold and silver nanoparticles. In fact, anti-aging liquid formulations containing gold particles have been adapted since middle age. Nanomaterials are increasingly being applied in the pharmaceutical industry to produce cosmetics. Products featuring these components have contributed a huge impact on the global pharmaceutical and cosmetics businesses. There are different types of nanomaterials used in cosmetics to become more effective. These are the liposomes, nanometals, solid lipid nanoparticles, and nanoemulsions. Liposomes have several advantages in providing cosmetics ingredients such as vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and anti-aging materials to biologic cells. Nanometals include nanosilver and nanogold have been applied in cosmetics ingredients, advantage of high efficiency and antibacterial properties in some cosmetics such as deodorant and toothpaste. Solid lipid nanoparticles, it support in the improvement of skin hydration through cosmetics and the improvement of sunscreen efficiency for some chemical sunscreen active components. Nanoemulsions are uniformly spread nanoscale droplet of a liquid in another liquid. These droplets get a large contact area with the skin and can act as a carrier for active chemicals in cosmetics. These chemicals are recognized as safe for use in cosmetics formulations. Nanoemulsions have smaller droplet size, which means they are more efficient stable and transparent nanocapsules are aqueous or oily structures made consisting of polymeric entities spread in a liquid form some vulnerable active agents such as vitamin d or potent cosmetic active ingredients are known to be ideal carriers in these formulations since cosmetics products are part of our life it is also help us to be more confidently beautiful. It is not bad to enhance ourselves. But we should be careful and be informed by reading the labels. And doing some research, you can make educated, healthy decision when purchasing and using cosmetics products. For the sake of our safety. Again, we are the group 10. I am Erica Kaila Pardilla. I am Adeline Marcos. I am Irish Joyner Yares. And I am Kyle Kristen Maximo from BSHM2.